The first video I made was for Star Wars Fallen Jedi and the engagement on that video is on a level that I never imagined it would be, especially considering that was my first video. So I gotta thank you all for the likes, the comments, the subscriptions, and I'm happy that video was able to help some of you. This video is in a similar vein. After progressing the story on Dathomir to the point that Cal has obtained the climbing claws, you're ready to fight this boss, or you can do like me and wait till you finish the story and come back for him. This time we're locating and defeating Nidak, 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 Nidak Alpha on Dathomir. And we're going to grab four chests along the way. So start off by making your way over to the first meditation point on Dathomir. You want to rest at that point just in case something goes wrong with the boss fight and then make your way to the temple. I'm speeding through some of the video because I suspect most of you know how to get to the first meditation point and ultimately the temple on Dathomir and I'm not going to waste any of your time. Now instead of heading straight to the temple from here, make a hard right, wall run across, and you're going to initiate that boss fight. I found this boss to be the easiest of them, but that may be because I fought him after completing the story and obtaining most of the skills. The key here is you want to roll toward and to the side of that big mamma jamma in almost every case. You can parry its blockable attacks, but I felt that it used those attacks less frequently than it used unblockable attacks. So I never even blocked, I just dodged. Overhead swing and slow work wanders here. I do get hit a few times. I wasn't expecting it to follow up one unblockable attack immediately with blockable attack combos, but I did anticipate the second time. During the blockable attack combo, you can roll backward twice, followed by a forward roll and to the boss's side, because by that time it's closing in and it can hit you with that third swipe. That also puts you in a good place to get your one or two hit combo in. Once you put the boss down, slide down that path opposite the walls you ran across to get here, wall run over to a platform, you'll find the first of four chests in this route. Once you grab that, continue by wall running over to another area to your left. The next chest will be on your right as soon as you land back on solid ground. Be careful here. There's spiders ahead of you, bowmen on your le left, enemies are dropping out of the pods above. It's insanity. After getting that second chest and defeating the enemies, continue along the path to find a third chest tucked away around a rock platform. The last chest contains another stem shot to increase your total and it's pretty hard to miss. Just continue following the only path forward, grab that chest, and then hop off. You'll land back in front of the temple and that's it, you are done. Again, thanks for watching and if this video helped you, Give it a like, subscribe. I'll appreciate it. You can believe that. With this, you and I are going to be unstoppable. Until next time.